Hey everyone, we're gonna go over another half swing video here. A half swing for all you outside in players, very armsy, very lifty players. This half swing will be a great video, more tailored for you to exaggerate a couple of different feels to make this half swing more effective. So if you're someone who's lifty or outside in, typically your arms start first, your arms lift away from your body. You can see it, the more I lift, the further away my hands get from me, and that's how you usually make your back swings. That's not what we want to do. So if you're someone who does that, your half swing, you're probably going to lift this way and then swipe this way. And you can see it's not very effective. We can't swipe that far with a half swing. The half swing pretty much narrows your margin for error. You have to be very precise with these half swings. So if you're someone who's an armsy player who's outside in, your misses could be big pulls, you could top the ball, you can miss the ball all together because you can see if I make this half swing and start being armsy with it, you can see the club swings outside the ball. That's not what we want, but that's a very common mistake I see with people who, use, who do this half swing. If you're an outside in guy, if you're a very armsy player. So what do you have to do if this is you? Well, you still want to try to make this half swing, but you have to let your hands come slightly inside in the takeaway. You can see if I let my hands dangle and all we do is turn, the hands come slightly inside, okay? We want to let that happen. The hands come slightly inside while the club stays outside. We don't want this club to come swinging inside either. We want this club to stay slightly outside the hands because we're not forearm rotating. If we let the hands come slightly inside as we turn, that should pin your arm more against your chest that which will in, in, in return help you keep that connection as an awareness so that the arms don't leave your chest so early. Now that the arm is pinned against your chest, you know if I throw my arms at it, I've lost that pin. We don't want to lose that pin, especially for you guys, the outside and the arms, the demographic. So for you guys, you gotta let the hands come slightly inside with no forearm rotation. And then from here, you actually have to feel like this club head travels back and down in the downswing version of this half swing. It's gonna feel like a very big loop. You can see the club head is somewhere in space. This is behind, this is out in front. I want to then transition this half swing and this club head to go back and down as I turn. So you can see this club head's coming from like in line with my shoe here so that we come more from this direction. So there's zero chance that we're gonna miss the ball and top the ball. If you're someone who's armsy and outside in, if I throw my arm out, you can see the club starts working outside and starts coming back this way. We don't want that. So this video we're talking about is to help you guys as the outside in armsy demographic fix this half swing so that you have a better chance and a better idea of how the full swing should work as you rotate through the ball. So let's exaggerate one. You're gonna let, make this half swing, hands come slightly inside, club stays outside as you turn. Then you're gonna loop this arm unit back. You can see I'm looping it back as I turn. My trail leg regains flex. The club's coming from back and down as I turn. You can see that's how I return the club through the ball. Comes way more inside than out this way. So let me do one for you guys in motion. I'm gonna make this half swing as, as usual as I've stated in the last couple of videos. I'm gonna add the loop to it. And you can see this club work really back and down through the ball. Nowhere close to being coming from this direction if you're, if you're someone who falls into this outside and RMD category, okay? What we're doing here is the opposite of this. We don't want this. You're outside in, you do this, and then you do that. That's the, that's the last thing we want to do. We want to do the opposite if you're in that category. So let the hands come inside with the turn. I don't need you to shove it inside with the arms independently, but when you turn, let the arm structure work in as the club stays outside the hands because you're not form rotating and then work it into the loop so the club goes back and down. You can see I'm letting this club head travel downwards. Do whatever you can to get this club head travel downwards by feeling like you're pointing your thumbs down. So I'll make the half swing, I loop it as the club goes back, and I point my thumbs down to get the club head traveling back and down as I turn and let that trail leg regain flex. So I'll do this one more time for you guys slowly. Half swing to loop and trail leg regains flex. That's what we want to try to do if you're someone in this outside in armsy category. So let's try that out. Any questions, feel free to let the team know. Check yourself on video, exaggerate the hell out of it. Let the club head go back and down after a proper half swing, back swing first. So try that out and we'll see you at the next video. Thanks guys.